ninth anniversary of Iowa's Supreme Court unanimous ruling in Varnum versus Breen legalizing same-sex marriage in our state. KCCI's Lauren Donovan has a look at what's changed in the years since the ruling. It feels mainstream now with the shirts, the stickers, and even the tattoos. But nine years ago, it was groundbreaking. I mean, nine years is a long time ago, and I don't think we could have imagined how far we have come. Back in 2009, Iowa farm raised Daniel Hoffman Zinnel had just come out as gay to his family. I remember the night before I had made a Facebook post just like hoping that the Iowa Supreme Court would rule on the side of marriage equality and fortunately they did. Varnum versus Breen, a unanimous decision by the Iowa Supreme Court in favor of same-sex marriage changed his life and gave way for him and his then boyfriend to marry. Couples came to Iowa from all over the country to have their wedding here. Hundreds of thousands of same-sex couples have since exchanged vows in the state. Put them on each other's hands. But the first ceremony was actually on a summer day in 2007, before the Iowa Supreme Court ruling. A Polk County court made a decision in favor, giving one young couple a shot at making it official. Signed the marriage license. Mark Stringer, now president of Iowa's ACLU, presided over their ceremony. I got a call early morning, uh, the, the day after the ruling, and I said, well, you could come to my house, and they said, we'll be right there. Cameras flashing and a kiss right on his front lawn. It just all happened so fast because they were in a race to the courthouse to try to beat the, uh, the stay that was going to be issued, and they just made it. We have your certificate and license ready. Iowa was the third state in the nation to legalize same-sex marriage. Hoffman Zinnel says that's because it's been a pioneer in civil rights. Until you get a state like Iowa to pass marriage equality, you're not going to get the rest of the country to follow suit. So Iowa was a pivotal state in the marriage equality movement across the entire country. And one Iowa says it's going to be focusing moving forward on growing awareness of the transgender community. Well, social conservative group The Family Leader is still outspoken when it comes to the matter of same-sex marriage in Iowa. Spokesperson Bob Vanderplot says that he won't be changing his mind until God himself changes his definition, he says. And I love other people in the LGBT community. Matter of fact, I have a lot of love for them. But I can also have a love for the institution of marriage the way God designed it. 